Now we're going to calculate a simple beam that has <coughs> concentrated loads that are asymmetrically placed. So the first thing to do is to take a look here. We have A uh, right down here and we have B over here at a distance of 16 feet. We have P1 which is going to be equal to 500 pounds and that is at uh, four feet so it's asymmetric it's not right in the middle so I'm going to draw in my uh, free body diagram right now and this is just eight blocks long and I'm going to start by putting in my reaction forces so my first reaction force is on the left end here and that is RA and my second reaction force is on the opposite end and that is RB and start putting in my uh, lengths now. So this first one, that is P1. And P1 is 500 pounds, LB. And that is located 4 feet from R A. The overall length of our beam, as I said, is 16 feet right here. Let's see, did I get everything listed? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. You can, I, I'm just going to write free body here. All right, now we need to start doing our calculations. So we're going to have, remember, this is going to be the sum of the forces in the y direction, and that has to equal 0. So to sum all these up, we're going to have RA plus RB. And then we have our force rate here, and that's going down. So that's going to be minus 500 pounds. And that's all going to be equal to zero right there. Now we'll simplify this down a little bit. So RA plus RB is equal to, because we're going to add 500 to both sides of this, 500 pounds. And we've got two variables here. We can't go any further with this. So we're going to jump down to solving for the moments. So the sum of the moments around A have to equal zero and to do that our first reaction force is going to be over here at B so it's R B and remember it's always a force times a distance so it's R B times 16 feet plus our next force which is going to be our uh, P1 here, which is 500 pounds, plus 500 pounds times its distance, which is 4 feet. And then the last reaction force that we have on here is RA. And that is at zero feet, and that's all got to be equal to zero. So then we're going to start solving this down. So RB times 16 feet plus 500 times 4 is 2,000. Well, by the way, this was feet up here. Forgot to label that. So that's 2,000 pound 
phi. Oh, that shouldn't have been a plus, should it? It should have been a minus sign. Same thing here. So minus 2,000 pound feet. And RA times 0 equals 0. So <laughs> RB times 16 feet. And then we're going to add 2,000 to this side to move it over. Equals. I must have been jumping ahead there in my, in my head. Equals 2,000 pound feet. And then, so RB is equal to 2,000 pound feet divided by 16. And RB is going to be equal to 125, and that is feet there. Those cross those uh, cancel out so that's going to be equal to 125 pounds so now we can come up here and take r a plus 125 pounds equals 500 pounds so in the end r a and we're going to subtract 125 from each side is going to be equal to 375 pounds. So we'll give that a circle. And of course we'll circle RB down here. Now we can go on and create our shear diagram right here. So I'm going to start with a point. Uh, I'll just come down to here. I'll start right there. This is going to go over 4 feet. So our, our line goes straight over four feet. And then it's going to go down. And don't forget, this is 375 pounds here, at, right at that point. And it's going to go down 100. Um, I'm sorry, it's going to go down the 375. So one, two, we'll go down three blocks. And then it's going to go over I'm going to draw this line in right here this is actually zero because this is the positive shear we'll put the cross hatch in there and then when it gets to this point it's going to go down the distance of RB which is 125 pounds and that's for the rest of the beam and this is minus 120, oops, 125 pounds right here. Now, to calculate our moment diagram, that's the next thing we need to do, we're going to uh, write the following thing down. So I'm just going to kind of bring these lines down here so that we have some boundaries okay and I'll draw a line straight across the bottom here which represents zero so this is zero here by the way as is this that is zero right there so um, we're going to take and calculate our moment so the moment max is going to be equal to the area under shear to the left of zero this time. And in the past, this has always been to the left of center because we were working from the center. But this time, this point right here is not at zero. So it's to the left of this point right here. Uh, or, I'm sorry, that's not the center. That's zero. So it's going to be to the left of zero. 
So our moment max is going to be equal to the 375 pounds because that's what we have right here. And it's a fourth times the distance and that is at four feet. And when you do that math, that's going to be, so a moment max is going to be equal, oops, I've been off the page here for a little bit, sorry. So if I take 375 times 4, I'm going to get 1,500 pound feet. So our shear diagram, three, go up 3, I'm going to go over even with our force here. So that is going to have our force come up till it reaches that point. And then it's going to go down from that point to that corner right there. And our moment max is 1,500 pounds. So this is M max. pound feet. And that's all we got.